What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? Welcome to Eddie Sad Gaming Time. Now I've got a bit of a treat for you because we've got a lot, a lot to talk about. Like for instance, Spyro is back. Yes, here's the intro. First I want to start out with Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now, from what my memory says, that for April, um, S S Star Wars The Last Jedi skins will be coming to Minecraft and different worlds will be coming to it, they will be able to use in any format. And they'll also be coming to Pimple, one of some of the dates I'm suggesting, to uh, April 27th. So that's Minecraft and Pimple the game that's been a while for some time now so if you like Last Jedi you, you'll like this. And for Spyro called the Spyro United Trilogy um, is coming this year on they're suggesting the 21st of September 2018 the trailer does say September 2018 at the moment just for the PlayStation 4 but the other people are saying that it'll be coming to Xbox One and Switch so um, that's all good. This will also be like the Crash Bandicoot Insane game where they will um, we we master or we make the Spyro 1, 2 and 3 and I believe on Friday you will be able to enter in that same code from Warped into the Insane game to view the playable trailer. So hopefully that would be nice. Marvel Spider-Man uh, for the PlayStation 4 video game that's coming out this year has a release date finally of September 7th, 2018, which also a collector's edition is also out for pre-order also. Now I just want to do a little bit of a reminder. This, we all know about this, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. And we know that Avengers Infinity War will be coming to it as a DLC. Now I would be say that it would be quite surprised if they could add the whole thing into it because they don't want to spoil it too much and plus DLC you don't do it big now unfortunately there's no release date but the achievements some of them are already in the game so we're waiting for a release date for it comes my prediction is it's gonna, this DLC will come at the end of uh, end of May that's just my speculation. Fortnite has been big recently and I just want to say that they are planning for having their story mode campaign to be free the, this year and otherwise if you can't wait then you just pay for it. It's also on mobile it is and also it's free to play it is. I will be playing uh, some of the um, battle royale and also the campaign so soon I'm putting it up when I feel a bit more confident with myself. They also had a little teaser for the defending machine that um, has at the moment from my memory says no release date and if there is please correct me down below and I will correct myself in the description. And finally I just want to do a quick talk about the Spyro fan games. Now the Spyro fan games have most of them are from what I know have been in the works since 2013 or maybe even later than that. Now, I'm saying right now, please don't give up. Please don't be like that other Crash Bandicoot fan game that gave up only because of the new one that came out. Even though they said they would continue, they just gave up because of their personal reasons. Please do not give up. The, like, the reason why games and these franchises can survive is because of the fans, because of the dedication. I will be playing some Spyro fan games, but please, if you plan on releasing any demos or the full game, I recommend do it do it this year. Or to be honest, like the Crash um, the Crash MM game, I don't think that one is ever gonna come out. It's gonna take a couple more years for all of these fan games to come out eventually, or this people just get bored of it because it's truth and honesty, because then game fan game developers have left stuff. They have. I, I'm not talking about breaks, but they have left stuff and not returned, but instead making new projects. But all I'm thinking about is, well, they're just going to keep doing it. I respect the people who made that demo that um, Will uh, one. I've played the Christmas uh, version of a Spyro fan game, whatever, and I do plan to play the fuller one once my laptops are in working order. 
But my point is, is that this will be the right time to say to yourself, am I going to give up or am I going to carry on? I would say give up, to be honest. It's harsh reality, but look, if you want to earn my respect, release a demo this year that we don't have to pay for and release it on Game Joint or somewhere where I can download it and then you'll have my respect. I'm sorry, it's the hard truth and I want to be civil, I want to be understanding, but there's only so much I can understand when fan games happen. Just release something for God's sake. So there, thank you guys so much for watching. No Battlefront 2 news, as you've just noticed that usually sometimes I'm always talking about it, but well, this time I am not. Apparently in April, customization is supposed to come, and also the layer um, skin thing will be coming, uh, the, the challenge will be becoming again, bit, being a bit more easier this weekend, so I'm sure I will be playing that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to go and check out everything I've just talked about, links will be down below. Peace, guys. See ya. I'm so happy that Spyro is back.